Beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you uh, pass wind. The more you pass wind, the better you feel. So let's have beans for every meal. Have you noticed how I avoided saying the F word then? Not only are they good for your heart, they're good for the planet, beans. As we'll see in a minute. In the future, we could be eating quite a few legumes, which is the official uh, term for beans, the bean family, because they're a good source of protein. And with all the climate change stuff that's going on and the, the need for, um, for land, for intensive meat farming, well, in the future, we're not going to be having those uh, luxuries, are we? We're going, to be, we're going to be needing to rely on something that's a little bit more friendly to the environment and a little bit easier for everybody to get a crack on at growing. So we're going to be starting the beans off, some more beans off today. We've already got some beans in the form of the broad beans or fava beans if you're over in uh, North America. But uh, yeah, there's our broad beans or some of them at least. And um, since I planted them in, which was only last week, they've come on leaps and bounds. They're a good two to three times the size that they were when I planted them. Nitrogen fixers as well, they'll draw nitrogen from the atmosphere through the plant and uh, deposit it in the ground, in the root system. They'll uh, capture their own nitrogen, fix their own nitrogen brilliant stuff there is nitrogen in there as well though by the way just to give them a, a bit of a start they can't completely feed themselves but they do fix nitrogen into the soil they're good all beans do that legumes now if you remember a couple of weeks ago we were speaking to uh, tip top terry, terry Maguire uh, with regards to what he was growing in his polytunnel and one of the things that he swears by are these Dwarf French beans. Now, I've grown French beans before, for many a year. So we'll be doing uh, some more of those this year. The Cosse de Violette, Cosse Violette, and some Safari there. First time for Safari, we usually, we usually do, um, oh, what are they called? I think it's what the what the elf beans are that Joe's got. They were originally um oh it'll come to me later on. Anyway, they're a French bean. These are a dwarf French bean as well. Safari. But we've got these which are the full the full sort of cane bean that grow to about ten feet high. Now if you're stuck for space, these are gonna be much more of an option for you. Because they only tend to grow to about eighteen inches high. And they bush out, they're a bush bean. And they're also a very tasty bean, apparently. These are called Ferrari, these ones. And they're, again, they're from Wilco. And we've got, a, we've got a pound's worth there. And for that pound, how many do we get? For that pound. For one pound in money. Uh, I can never remember where they are, the, uh, where it is. The sort of seed count. That's what I'm looking for. 80 seeds there. On average 80 seeds now I'm not going to be doing 80 of them but I am going to be doing or starting about 20 off but we're going to be doing 10, 10 now and then 10 a little bit later down the line because as you can see the so indoors April is the time now it's April tomorrow so I'm starting them a little bit early but uh, they're going to be inside the polytunnel and they're going to be inside the, the cold frame so hopefully they'll be okay but we'll see Fingers crossed, boys and girls. I'm thinking they'll be all right. It was uh, Cobra, Cobra, the variety I was trying to think of, the climbing French beans. Um, there's Blue Lake as well. I think, we've, I think we've done Blue Lake before and Cobra, and of course, Joe's magical elf beans, elf beans. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna be doing these dwarf French, the Ferrari. Let's get them started off. Hello, well, it's 16 degrees Celsius in here, in the polytunnel, and uh, just bear with us a second while I get my beans. There's our Ferrari. Now according to form, you should start them off 
in temperatures of around that, of around 15 degrees C or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So Celsius is what we use in this country and Fahrenheit is what you use elsewhere in the world. These are, uh, these are good until 2025, but we like to use fresh beans if we can. But we will be saving them, saving some of the seeds this year. We didn't save any last year, which is unusual. So, uh, and they were the cobra. I've just checked they were the cobra beans. So we had the cobra beans and we had some of Joe's, some of the wise old elf's beans last year as well. We might be able to spur us a couple this year, hopefully. But we'll see. I don't think he's got that many this year, to be honest, Joe. I don't think he saved so many. This is a pain, isn't it? Can't get into the, into the... This is the only problem I've found with the Wilco seeds. I like to open them, as you know, from the base. So I can retain that information on there. But what I might do, what I will do actually, is I'll tear it, I'll tear it off, or shall I not? I don't really want to tear it off. But can I get into this, boys and girls, without uh, making too much of a pig's ear of it? Probably not, but we'll see. I don't think I can. Or maybe I can. Riveting, riveting TV this, boys and girls, isn't it? Anyway, here we go. Let's get some seeds out. Have a look at them. See them? Little white bean seeds. There. So uh, that's going to be that, our dwarf French bean. And they're a little bit smaller than the other beans, actually. The big, the big beans. I've got a big bean here. Just by way of comparison. Yeah? They're about um, two-thirds the size of the big bean, aren't they? By the look of it. I'll have to get rid of that bean so the mice don't eat it. But these are the, these are the ones we're going to be sowing. But first, obviously, we've got to get our growing mix in, our seed starting mix. Unsieved compost, about 20% as well of the perlite into there. All I've done is when I've taken it out of the bag, I've gone like that with it, so it, break, it breaks up some of, the, some of the bigger lumpy bits. But there will be twigs and all sorts in here. Doesn't really matter for the, the bigger beans, the bigger seeds. But for your small seeds, we always sieve it. Five millimetre sieve. Exhibit A. Yeah, that's what we usually sieve them through. But uh, this is unsieved stuff. And it should be fine for these for these seeds. Just broken it up a little bit with 20% of the perlite. It just opens up the the compost a little bit and let, it gives the seeds a better chance. It also helps in retaining moisture and all regulating the moisture that's in there. So yeah, we're going to get the holes in now. So all I'm going to be doing is going to be trusty sharp and they need to be about an inch deep so if I do that that's about an inch and when my index finger touches the soil then it's the right depth isn't it A silent bit of uh, dead air there. Bob Ross, ASMR, unintentional A, un unintentional ASMR. A bit of ASMR for you there. I'll be doing gentle whispering and some unintelligible speech because I'm talking Wigan, and Wigan is oftentimes unintelligible. No, I won't. Can do if you want. I might do an ASMR one. One of these days. Give me the, give me the tingles. See if you can get your tingles going. 
I've been watching ASMR to help me sleep. Because I'm obviously uh, trying to get off the fags at the moment. So, uh, I've been doing that. ASMR videos. Who have I been watching now? SRP, I think he's called. He's like a... Um, an optician, Asian lad, optician, but they're very realistic. And I always used to get kind of tingly when I went to the opticians. I don't know why. I'm a bit weird, I suppose, but I used to like going to the opticians. Not in a perverse kind of a way. You'll understand, boys and girls. But uh, I don't know. I just liked it. It's dead, dead relaxing. Personal attention, sort of thing. I've been watching him and I've been watching uh, Be Calm with Becca. She's another one. She's not been, uh, she's not done so many videos lately, uh, but she's good. She's English here. She looks a bit like uh, Hermione Granger. In fact, she does one where she's dressed up as Hermione Granger. An ASM ASMR role player. Anyway, anyway, that's besides the point, boys and girls. We're putting beans in, aren't we, at the moment? Beans. Well, if you're into that sort of stuff, that, or you've never tried a ASMR, have a go at that. Proper chills you out. Relaxing. Makes you sleepy. ASMR. Sorry about the helicopter in the uh, background there. That doesn't chill you out, does it? You just pause that. Okay. Now the Drug Enforcement Agency uh, helicopter has disappeared. I'm just labelling them up. Dwarf French Bean. Yeah. One per cell, Ferrari, 30th of the 3rd, 2022. It's actually the 31st today, so I've got that wrong, haven't I? Well, never mind, we'll pretend it's the 30th. It's the 1st of April tomorrow. That's my April Fool, I suppose, for you there, isn't it? I'll just give it away. Dwarf French beans. Get them uh, watered up now. I'm just going to dampen off the tops. I do like this pressurised um, sprayer. It's a lot quicker. I think it was £3.50 this from uh, Home Bargains. I bought it. It was either, it was either home bargains or it was uh, B and M bargains, which are sort of local discount shops near us in England. So that's going to go into the water tray now. I've got to make a little bit of room though first for it because we're struggling for room in there. But that's where it's going. Okay, catch you in a bit. There's a bath. That's a big propagator that. Um, obviously obviously an unheated propagator to get those seeds on the go so we'll put that tray of cells in there's about half an inch of water in it as well there at the base there we go I bet I'll be able to get about another another eight or ten plants around that as well in there I'll warrant uh, but the dome cover is going to go on it it's quite a high dome as well, it's, it comes up about 8 inches, so that'll give them plenty of uh, time to get off and running and get some growth on them before we start to think about planting them out and taking the cover off. But we'll see how we get up. Yeah. Decent propagator that. I'm sure that one was from uh, B&Q. Only, only thing you've got to watch out for when you're buying them, they come separately, you'll get the tray and then you'll get this top part, this dome, which you can open and vent if you need to, if you're getting too much condensation inside them. Is that they do crack, they do tend to, the brittle, they tend to crack. Now I've had that for two years, so I've had two years out of it, but I think the setup costs around about £12. 
I think these these were about four quid when I bought it, and these were about eight pounds. I don't know what they are now. Um, but yeah, I've had a couple of years worth out of it. But you've got to be careful that you don't. Um, initially, as well, when you first get them, I think that had that uh, crack on um, when I actually bought it, but I didn't spot it when I was in the shop. And it was on it, obviously, the first time that I used it. So yeah, just be careful when you're purchasing things like that. You have a check over of them first. But there you go. I think it's well protected there. It'll be uh, adding a, a, probably another zone's worth of um, of protection there. We're in zone eight here, up in God's country, up in the great northwest of England. Most of England really is uh, is zone eight. Final frost date is sort of mid. May, you know, up here in the frozen north, but uh, they should be well protected in here. They've got the trampoline framed polytunnel, which, as I say, even though outside it's uh, seven degrees outside, it's quite cool today. It, it, we got up to like 19 20 degrees last week, but this week it's not been as good. And it's at the moment outside, it's about seven or eight degrees Celsius, and in here it's 16 degrees Celsius. At um, at five thirty on Thursday evening, Thursday the thirty first, April Fool April Fool's Day tomorrow, and I can't speak. Keep repeating me words because I can't speak. Yeah, but uh, that's because I'm tired. I've got an headache as well. I've got an headache. Trying to work, uh, trying to stop the cigarettes, aren't I? So I'm getting the withdrawals at the moment. But wish me luck, boys and girls. I am determined. Anyway, that's besides the bye. All right, we'll see you next time. So I'll be back on on um, Saturday. We're not on tomorrow because I'm going watching my mother. So I might put a bit of footage up on that in her uh, amateur dramatics. Amateur operatical, this is. Amateur operatical. Show tunes and all that kind of stuff. Songs from the shows. From the West End. So we're watching that tomorrow night, and then on on Saturday we'll be down for about four or five hours on Saturday. I think Mick's back on as well. We'll try and do a catch-up as well with old Mac Darby from old Mac Darby's farm. But remember, as always, boys and girls, get your beans in. Keep growing with your heads down. And if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. You've been beautiful, fantastic and fragrant. If you're a lady, if you're a gentleman, you've been forthright, virile and masculine. And if you've been something in between, you've been something in between. I've been Guru Mafinda. Catch you next time. All right, take care of yourselves and each other, boys and girls. Bye-bye, and have a good night. Okay, so let's take a look at some facts about these uh, green beans, or string beans, or French beans, or whatever you want to call them. There are more than 130 varieties of green beans. Green beans are rich. A rich source of vitamins A, K and C. It's important to rinse and drain canned beans. Well, we're not going to be canning them at the moment, are we? We're going to be growing them. Let's take a look. That's what we're talking about. Beans carry with them plenty of health benefits. Consuming fruits and vegetables of all kinds. Well, we know all that, don't we? Can reduce the risk of many diseases. Many studies have, su studies have suggested that including more plant foods such as green beans in the diet decreases the risk of obesity, diabetes because it regulates sugar. That's one thing I have found out. Heart disease, so they are good for, for your heart. Beans, beans are good for your heart and overall m mortality. Right, okay. According to, the United States, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, the USDA, National Nutrient Database, one standard cup of canned snap, this is canned snap peas, so the vitamins are not going to be as, um, as robust as if you're getting them fresh, has 28 calories, 0.55 grams of fat, so very low in fat, not massive amounts of carbohydrate there, but plenty of fibre, and a fibre is good for you, as we know. 
it also has protein 1.42 grams of protein in terms of nutrients let's get further down it contains 17 milligrams of calcium 1.2 milligrams of iron 18 milligrams or is, it, or is that micrograms of magnesium 30 of, of phosphorus 130 of potassium 24 micrograms of MCG or vitamin A 52.5 grams of vitamin K vitamin K is good for the immune system isn't it vitamin K I'm sure I've seen uh, Dr. John, John Campbell talking about vitamin K in fact I definitely have vitamin K mmm that in conjunction with vitamin D is good for you folate so for pregnant ladies yeah so the canned stuff also contains quite a lot of sodium which is salt in it so you better rinse them beans before cooking them but we're going to be doing them fresh right health benefits <clears throat> help reduce the risk of a number of health conditions green beans contain high amounts of chlorophyll it's hard to read that because I'm reading it off my phone rather than off the screen chlorophyll it's the green stuff in it this may block carcinogenic effects of heterocyclic I mean I mean I mean yeah that whatever that is uh, that are generated when grilling meats at a high temperature individuals who prefer their grilled foods charred should pair them with green vegetables to decrease the risk so that's what folate does right so we're looking at fertility as well there there's a lady who's having a baby good source of iron harvard medical school suggests that it, this may enhance fertility in women for women of childbearing age consuming more iron from plant sources such as spinach beans pumpkin and green beans appears to promote fertility according to harvard medical school other studies have shown a correlation between a woman's level of fertility and a level and the level of according to yeah including iron that she consumes the level of iron that she consumes pairing iron rich foods with vitamin c rich foods like tomatoes bell peppers and berries can improve iron absorption adequate folic acid intake is also needed during pregnancy to protect the fetus against natural tube defects one cup of green beans provides approximately 10 percent of the daily folic acid needs and six percent of iron depression I've heard about this about beans before. Yeah. Serotonin levels boosts them. Dopamine. The feel good stuff. Bone health. A low intake of vitamin K is associated with a higher risk of bone fracture. So a low intake of vitamin K is associated with a higher risk of bone fracture. Adequate vitamin K consumption improves bone health by modifying bone matrix proteins, improving the calcium absorption and reducing urinary excretion of calcium. I wonder if it helps with gout as well, though. It's got plenty of anti antioxidant effects. Right. Well, you can read that at your leisure, boys and girls, can't you? Now, there are several of those benefits that would benefit me definitely yeah the diabetic one is one of them the diabetes the regulation of blood sugar I know it's been a lot of beans are linked to regulation of blood blood sugar They're certainly much better than uh, high carbohydrate foods for that and high sugar content foods so yeah they're looking into it they're looking into it at the moment as a a replacement for um, the vast consumption of proteins that we get from meat, the meat industry. It's much more healthy for you. Well, not necessarily, that might be a bit wrong. Meats, cer certain meats are very good for you. Vitamin B12, you can only really get from meat. Um, 
and sort of fish meats and what have you, organically uh, harvested, non-farmed fish, such as salmon. Really good for you. Again, they help to boost your immune system, a lot of vitamin D in it. The only plant-based vitamin D really of a, of a decent quality is from, is from the brown mushrooms, or like chestnut mushrooms that have been ex exposed to sunlight and they take on that um, natural vitamin D from that. But um, as the weather's improving, get out in the sunshine as well, boys and girls, because that's how you naturally absorb your vitamin D. Especially if you've got darker skin, you need to have uh, a boost of vitamin D. You don't absorb as much vitamin D as people who've got lighter skin tend to do. They'll absorb more of it. It's an essential vitamin that for immune health, immunity health, your immune system. Assists your macrophages to fight off viruses and other pollutants. Enough about that from the professor. Right, we'll get cracking on with our beans. Let's get it.